Oh, not this again. Tangelo, why are you stopping the show? Hmm. Tangelo is upset again because there are thousands of you still who have not bothered to subscribe. This is most distressing to Tangela because it is your subscriptions that tell YouTube Incorporated that we are a program worthy of their financial support. With your subscription, we'll eventually make enough money to pay for the production so we can continue producing this show. Oh, really? If you like our show, please subscribe right now. You'll make me happy, Tangela happy, and you'll have the satisfaction of knowing that with your help, Creature Features will continue long into the future. Push that subscribe button now and thank you. Are you happy now? May we resume our previously scheduled program? Welcome to Creature Features. I am Vincent, this is Livingston, and that is Tangela. But enough about us. Let's talk about tonight's film, shall we? Because premiering for the first time ever on our show tonight will be a blockbuster cult classic film with which we know you're all quite familiar. Starring Sissy Spacek, John Travolta, Nancy Allen, and Amy Irving, this Stephen King story is hailed as one of his best works. That's right, mates. Tonight we shall screen Carrie from 1976. Directed by Brian De Palma and produced by... Oh, nonsense, you teasing quipster. What? She's right, you know. That's impossible. You heard the conversation with our distribution representative. She clearly stated that she was sending us Carrie from 1976. You are mistaken. She said the movie she was sending was just like Carrie from 1976. My sincerest apologies, friends at home. While I always make nothing less than a gallant and noble effort to deliver the best films possible for your viewing pleasure, my efforts are often thwarted and my hopes are frequently dashed by fast-talking distributors, ill-mannered butlers, and crafty housemates. Instead of Carrie from 1976, we shall present The Spell from 1977. I have no data at all about this film. Starring Lee Grant, Susan Myers, and a very young Helen Hunt, the film revolves around the tale of an overweight high school girl who is mercilessly bullied by her classmates. The young woman develops magical powers and is soon wreaking havoc upon those who have wronged her. Just like in Carrie. This one doesn't have the bucket of blood. Movie issues aside, at least we'll have a fabulous guest. Joining us to watch this Carrie imposter will be the wonderful Miss Misery. She's a hostess of horror, the subject of a number of comic books, and an all-around lovely and knowledgeable young lass who will surely know a good deal more about tonight's film than yours truly. So don't go away, for it is to be another night of schoolyard revenge fright, right here on Creature Features. Stay tuned.
Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. This brief moment of tranquility has been brought to you by Nightscape. Relax and sleep better every single night with this and other videos from our free YouTube channel. Learn more by visiting nightscape.co today. It's that time of the week. You know, I'm always, I, I've got to come up with something better to say. Not this time of the week, because, you know, people could be watching us like every day on YouTube. That's it true. Right, That's true. Right. It's, it's Miss Misery night, right? That's what it is. Right. I'm joined by Miss Misery. You know, it's, it's, it's been so long. I know, too long. I, you know, it's, it's, she's, she's like another horror host, and she's not too far away. And, we, you know, we should, we should conspire on <gasps> what kinds of things should happen in the world of horror hosting right we should we should make a movie together no, and she's just like me you know why because she is she's one of the few horror hosts like myself who does not wear a top hat you've got beautiful hair i have beautiful hair why cover it it's very you know? true i think every horror host that wears a top hat is hiding something if if I not agree. a rabbit i agree then balding maybe <gasps> yeah it's all real Anyways, Miss Misery, horror host, comic book character, author, I understand, I just learned. Yes. I mean, my goodness, you've done almost everything. Director, producer, script writer, I... For what? Name it, I do it. You did it, for what? <laughs> oh, all kinds of things. I've written directed movies, I've done comic books, I've produced oh short goodness. films for people, I've produced films, major budgets for people, I've wrote for people, I've... I'm an author of over 15 books. 15 books? You're an international woman of mystery. <laughs> That's wonderful. 15 Love books. That. Did you bring them all? No, I brought one, my latest one. All right. Well, I suppose that's fine. But, you know, <laughs> when I would visit people, I'd say, here's all my albums. Oh. Right? So oh, I'll bring a box next time. You should bring an entire case. And, you know, I'll one of the, maybe one of those little bookmobiles. Ooh. No, you've, you've done enough I to have a bookmobile. That. I have. You're right. right. I have. Right. The Spell, 1977. That's what we're watching tonight. I love it. You love this movie. I love it. Because it has magic. I haven't it's... seen it yet, but we'll see. Oh. Well, you know, it sounds good, right? The Spell. The Spell. And it's not a spelling bee, I assure you. It's, it's, a, it's apparently about, um, it's like Carrie. Ooh. The movie Carrie. You've seen Carrie. better. Oh. Well, I've read we, Carrie. I've we were supposed Carrie. to get Carrie. Oh. We, no, we ordered Wait. Carrie special for you, and then they sent us this. Second best. I, it's, I suppose, because it's <laughs> supposed to be a complete, almost perfect knockoff. Oh, of Carrie. well, let's so, watch it. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. All right, so we're going to start this film. When we come back, we're going to talk about stuff you've done, and things you're going to do, and things you wish you did, and things that you regret doing as well. Oh, a right? quiz. But first, let's start The Spell, 1977. It's got a young Helen Hunt. Ooh, She's even tiny. better. Yep, yep, yep. Off we go, The Spell. See you on the other side of the commercial break. Oh, my God. 
Is this for time? Oh, I heard she was really slim until she started eating everything in sight. <laughs> <laughs> now she wears all those big dresses and those old-fashioned sweatsuits to hide all her lard. Very funny. <laughs> all right. And a grape. Oh. I'm afraid so, Rita. Okay. All right, girls, let's go. <laughs> you can be excused. Yeah? Yes. Hey, you know that guy from Fort Ord I was seeing? What about him? He used to take out the home economics teacher before she got fat. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd want to take out that tubbo? You gonna throw up like that tubbo? I'm warning you, Jackie. You better stop calling me that. I'm warning you, Jackie. same time, the agency issued new regulations permitting diversions of propane gas from an industrial use of the home, hospitals, and other high-priority users, if necessary, to compensate for shortages of natural gas. The actions approved by the special White House energy advisor were taken in response to the fuel crisis of much of the eastern two-thirds of the nation as a result of abnormally unseasonal weather. So much for the news, and now back to the news. Here. Here. Do you really need that second help? Extra will pay for it. You are paying for it. I'll take it. Don't you two have to get ready to school? No. Why not? Well, it has to do with Jesus, and it's not his birthday. Oh, hilarious. That's... Really hilarious. <laughs> Just trying to be helpful. Well, don't be. Is all this necessary? Excuse me. Christina. But I'm not finished. Why did you do that? Huh? You heard me. 
that remark about a second helping. Oh. Because she's getting fat, and you don't say a word. You don't help her by humiliating her. Let's get a governess in here. Then neither of us will have to do she it. She's too old for a governess. Oh, well, not a governess per se. A sort of uh, housekeeper who's good at mediation. Well, swell. We can have a union. The kids will uh, have strikes and labor wars. OK. Let's do something. Um, how about the grapefruit diet? Glenn, she's an adolescent. That's her problem. Don't you remember when you were 15? I do. What a memory. Well, it was tough. I ate my way out of going to two proms. OK, how do we approach her? We don't humiliate her. Don't humiliate her. You got it. Oh, I left some uh, stuff for Margaret to iron. Oh, she went to her sister's for a few days. I'll do it. No. You'll like it. I like it. Oh, uh, would you pick up a bottle of Calagasta? I've tried all over town. Would you try Applebee's? OK. Bye. Gwen. Bye. Finish your breakfast, Chris. What's your day like? I'm going shopping, remember? Oh. If I'm up to it, honey. Rita did it again. You know, ever since Jackie Siegel's accident, she's been acting oh, really strange. that was strange. nearly a month ago. Some of the kids said when she fell, she Say, started... How about doing the dishes for me, sport? You want to talk? Nope. Bad one, huh? What? Real bummer. Medium bad. Might help to talk. Might help you, won't help me. <laughs> OK. Welcome back to Creature Features. If you're just joining us, you missed a really good part of the film. Oh, I, so this good. just goes right into it. <laughs> it does. Yeah, it I really like does. It. It's it's nice to not have a lot of yak 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 until and have to wait till you know the middle of the film before you see the action. She's already killing people, so good move. Love it. No, I think I think you know this is this is this is the way things should be dealt with, is with really? psychic telekinesis powers, right? No, well, That's you know, true. in the old days, when I was, when I was at, in in school, they they would like we would fist fight. The, yes, that's right. right. If I had telekinesis, oh, it'd be so much be, easier. Oh, right, right, so much easier. Miss Misery, what's the name of your show? Miss Misery's Movie Massacre. Movie Massacre. Yes. Do you spell? How do you spell massacre? M a s s a c r e. I, I thought this was in a spelling bee. No, it's not. The film is called the spell, but we are not okay. doing the spell. No, the reason why I ask this is, you know, somebody told me that massacre in in the United States is not spelled the same way as it is in the UK, and you just proved it is. Really? I don't know. It's That's quite interesting. I, so, so, movie massacre. How did you come up with that name? I don't know. Do you massacre I, the movies, <laughs> or are they ma purely massacre movies? Well, they are massacred movies, oh, if you right. think about it. Well, you know, we chop them up for television, uh, so we massacre <laughs> them as well. Very true. Yes. Very true. I, I don't know how I came up with the name. Names, to me, are actually, um, I'm very pr 
um, I, how do I say it? I'm very uh, ugh about my name. I'm if the I same way. Right? Yeah. Uh, uh, yes. yeah, because if you don't come up with a good name and you're not comfortable with it, then you don't think everyone else will be comfortable with it. It's your trademark. It. It's your moniker. It's your... Exactly. It's, it's, it's what you put on your stationery, right? Exactly. So, all right. Yes. Now I understand. So you've been doing this how long? I've been Miss Misery since 2007. 2007. So started, you've been doing this longer than me. Quite a bit I longer I started my me. first show, The Last Doorway, which was an interview show. Right. And then one day I was doing a convention in San Jose, and this guy came up to me, gave me his card, and said, you want to host movies for my channel? And I said, no. No. I said no because I thought every horror host hosts the same movie. Right. Who's going to see the movie again with me hosting it? But apparently people do. Well, of course. And yeah. I, I just started doing it. Because you do a show. It's like, it's, it's, it's like dinner and a movie. Right? It, it is, Except yes. you're the dinner, <laughs> right? And no, no, you, you would make a lovely souffle to go along with like some old horror flick that everyone see. Yeah, it's the same thing with us. It's like, you know, we bring out Tangella and then people say, all right, I'll watch that silly film again because <laughs> yeah. you know it's got tangella with it this time exactly so you're, you're the same so you're telling me you're on uh regular standard broadcast television yes roku roku and now you're starting to do uh youtube as starting well. to do youtube That's for the wonderful. the fans that don't get the stations i'm on they said why aren't you on youtube i said i don't know why am i not you should be on youtube so i'm no. putting them on youtube no uh, our favorite viewers are on youtube awesome no they're they're, they're watching us that. right now Right this minute, they're looking at you yes. and saying, I want to see his station. So how, how, do we, how do we find your show? I want to put that up now so they can go look. Okay, so lastdoorwayproductions.com. If you go there, you just found all, you find all the information. Lastdoorwaysproductions.com. Lastdoorwayproductions.com. Doorway, single? Doorway, yes. Single, lastdoorwayproduction.com. If you go there, you can find everything. My comic books, my books, my movies, the show, everything. All right, so it's, it's, like, it's like the the centerpiece of your internet world. Yes. Right, all right. Oh, all yeah. right, well, when you say we get back to this film. Yeah, I want to see what happens next. And when we come back, I want to talk about your book writing. Okay, great. All right, all right. Off we go back to The Spell, 1977. I, I, I don't know if it gets better or not. I've never seen this film, but uh, you can tell me. We'll see. Bye. You are in luck, ladies. Oh. Fresh banana cake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. You know, Rita's having an awful time of it. Chris and the other kids know how to go right to where it hurts. And with Rita right now, it's her weight. And they call adults cruel. Used to kill me last year. When I go and pick her up at school, she'd be hiding in a building, waiting for me. And she'd only come out when she saw my car. And even then, those kids still found a way to yell some rotten thing at her to finish her off. I'll bet they take classes on how to hurt each other. Sadism, 1A. Speaking of schools, did you hear about that Webster Elementary School business? What? On the news. Oh. They had to close the school. The kids were throwing up, eyes burning, disorientation. Hmm. I tell you, the whole peninsula is getting weird. How was the banana cake? Good? If I ever come in and ask for this recipe, don't dare give it to me. Trust me. <laughs> Rita! these games we made a bet she lost what kind of bet she said she could hold her breath for two minutes and she didn't make it so now she's mad how intelligent may I be excused please why are you out of breath I beat her I made it to a minute and a half. And if she'd lose about 500 pounds, she might be able to make it to That's a minute. That's enough. That is enough you can scratch shopping. Oh, Mom! Oh, Mom! Will you stop it, Rita? Damn it. I can't stand her whining. Well, I can't Will stand you? your Look, I'm both of you. She 
start this. You both start it. We don't like each other, Mother. Face it. Rita, that's an awful thing to say. That is awful. No, it isn't. It doesn't bother her any. Ask her. No, it doesn't bother me. It bothers me. Then let's not discuss it. Well, I thought we might go out for a drink. Uh, uh, what's the matter? Nothing's the matter. Yeah, something's the matter. No kiss, no hello. You're not programmed for anything but going to Los Angeles Keep and coming your voice home. Down. Boy, have you changed? I remember a time we used to sit on the football Shh. field. You with one goal post, meet another, a bottle of cheap red wine between us, yelling right. dirty things at each right. other. What's the matter? Am I embarrassing you? Yeah, you want to yell? Uh, you want to hear? In, in the He'd say, I want to take are you. you. Are you going to try and ruin my reputation? No, I'm just trying to put some of the old pizzazz back in our marriage, you know, right where it belongs. Anymore. We're not 85 either, but you act like you're pushing it. You want to drop by the field on the way home and have a replay? Don't make fun of me, Glenn. I'm I'm not either. I'll meet you the three nights. You're on. Now get in that car and drive. I'll get there before you. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. I will. And she had the strangest expression on her face. Like what? I don't know. A uh, kind of cynicism, hardness, cruelty. I don't know. A cynic at 15. <laughs> Only in these screwy times could you be a cynic at 15. Maybe I saw something that wasn't there. I heard a great definition of a cynic the other day. Hmm. Um, knowledgeable. Apathy. <laughs> Isn't that great? Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable apathy. apathy. Maybe we should send her to a psychiatrist. Or a firing squad. Come on. Scratch it. Rita's going through a very, very bad time now, and she needs our support. Nobody ever said the kids were easy. And some are more difficult than others. Well, she's difficult because she's unhappy. She's unhappy because she's fat. And she's fat because... Yes? You want another drink? She's fat because... something's missing. And analysis will tell us. Oh, I'll tell you. Don't say love. You love her. Of course I love her. Do you love her enough? Chris is so easy for you to love. Rita's harder. She's ours, too. She's a part of both of us. Can't we both love her a little harder? Well, I could use a little, too, you know. She looks at me like I just won the Ogre Award. How do you look at her? Like she'd just given me the award. <laughs> All right, I'll give it a shot. I'm still gonna kick her in the butt when she gets smart and compliment her when she does right. And pray God she's 18 tomorrow. <laughs> Tonight. Oh. And that's all the time I'm giving her right now. My evenings are short enough.
This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Not now. Stay tuned. This portion of Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. You know, he does like those bones, does he not? Welcome back to the show. We are uh, watching the spell with Miss Misery, but Miss Misery stepped away for a, a quick moment so that Tangela and Fang could sit in the chair. You know, for a dog named Fang, he's he's rather fluffy and, and friendly looking, don't you think? Looks like a Benji. He does look like a Benji. He's right, you know. Anyways, uh, we, we're going to take this opportunity to read the mail that you send to us because if you send us mail, it is our obligation to read it, right? Indeed. Indeed. What do you got for me, Mr. Livingston? Ocala, Florida. How are you, sir? I'm well. Are you staying out of trouble? I have to. You know, one of these days, I'm going to have to bail him out of jail. I don't know why, but that would be fun. I would be rather... He's bailed me out a few times. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, Ocala, Florida. Christy Clark writes us. She hails from Ocala. Is that pronounced correctly, Ocala? I'm not sure. All right. Ocala is another alternative. Could be an Indian name of some it's, sort. It's Florida. All right. I'm from Ocala, Florida. I watch all of you all's shows. All of you all are awesome, and y'all's shows are great. That sounds like the South. Yeah, you know, I... It, so Florida is technically south, right? But they don't speak like that there, do they? It's a mix. It's a mix. All right. Well, thank you for writing, Christy, and uh, we hope things are wonderful in Florida. Watch out for crocodiles. I understand you have those beasts there. Those are, you know, they bite. They nip. I think it's alligators. Alligators? Not crocodiles. Where are crocodiles? On the Nile. Oh, all right. Have we ever gotten any mail from somebody on the Nile? No. Well, when that comes, I shall use the correct animal. Someone in denial, perhaps. Denial, I like that. All right, uh, Eugene Gray writes to us, uh, subject, movie recommendation. We don't get enough of these, you know. Oh, every day. Right, we do. All right, uh, he goes, uh, the old Universal Classic Monster movies, I'm sure would be expensive to televise, but there's one that may or may not be expensive. The movie is The Invisible Ray with Karloff and Lugosi, made in 1936. It is more of a science fiction movie than a horror movie, even though it has its cast, Universal's two biggest monster stars of the 30s. I watched it the other night and highly recommend it to anyone who enjoys the old Universal classics. It is very atmospheric and even has a little airplane flying around the globe at the beginning. If it's not expensive, I highly recommend showing this movie, Eugene Gray. Well, uh, thanks for the recommendation, Eugene. However, the issue here is not so much the price or the movies, we cannot show those films on YouTube. So that means we would have to do a, an episode of the show for TV and then one for YouTube with a different movie, and it's just a big mess. So if we can't show it on YouTube, then we just don't do it, right? Right. Right. So uh, maybe someday when Universal lets us show on both, we'll do that. But until then, sorry. We have a package. A package. Give me the package with a letter. I you know, assume it's she's got a hands full. I shall dispense with the well. distribution of this. I, I shall use my shoe as a, a present stand. All right. This is from Max Allison. Is that a real name? I'm assuming so. It's no. typewritten as well. well it, is it is done with thing. a real typewriter. And uh, But could this be an Allison to the Max? Like... Her name is Allison, and she is like the maximum version of an Allison. Oh, I see. This is your attempted humor. No, it's my attempt to understand this name. Ah. All right. We're going to assume it's Maximilian Allison, and it is a he. And uh, he is in Indiana in Salisbury. Salisbury. 
Salisbury. I never heard of this. Hmm. All right. Uh, dear Vincent Livingston and Tangella, I discovered Creature Features about a year ago, and ever since I've tuned in every Saturday night, I even got my mom into it as well. It's our favorite mother-son bonding activity. Uh, imagine that. Imagine that. Mother, you know, it's better than Mother's Day because you don't have to buy flowers or cake, right? Popcorn. Popcorn. Yeah, it's less expensive than flowers and cake, I assure you. Uh, let's see. Uh, we found this octopus for Tangella, and we hope she will enjoy it. I also collect autographs, and if there's any way of getting a signed photo, let me know. I think we can arrange that, sir. I'm pretty what? sure Sean Penn ripped off Vincent's look in his film, the Must, This Must Be the Place. Uh, have I seen that film? I don't think so. I'm going to look into that. And here is the octopi. Look at this. It kind of looks like you. It's got like the little bow tie, but you don't, you don't always do the bow ties. He used to do bow ties. Not anymore. Why? Yeah, Change it up. Do not let Fang eat this wonderful gift from Max. All right. I'm going to give you back the letter. Anything and else? I have one more. One more from... Oh, from I recognize this. I recognize this. All right. Uh, for those of you who've been watching the show for a while, you know that there's somebody who writes to us frequently. His name is Ted Oakman. And he, is, he writes to us every day. Every time we go to the mailbox, there's Letters a from pile of mail. We, we, we've got a huge box of all the mail we save from Ted. So uh, every now and then we will read one of these. And he goes... Uh, June 1980, the 14-year-old teenager during afternoon daylight stood under the UFO three feet above himself. He chased after it, jumped on it, and rode on the UFO across the city of Oakville. The Oakville alien enjoys watching Creature Features since 1980. Yours truly, Ted Oakman. That's your value. And he, uh, he enclosed this picture. We'll put a big one up. So, uh, Ted, you've got to find something better to do than write to us. I, we love hearing from you, but uh, every day, mates. Go have some fun. Go hunt down that UFO. Or join a ghost hunting group, right? Wouldn't that be good for him? If he joined a ghost hunting group, then he can go find ghosts instead of... An interesting recommendation. Writing letters to us, right? No? Maybe? We'll see. And that would be it. That's it for mail. If you'd like to send us mail of your own by email, send it to the address you see over here. Or if you'd like to send a wonderful octopi to place on Tangela's head... Send it to the P.O. box you see right here. We'll be right back with Miss Misery soon, but first let's get back to the spell. Oh, what? What's wrong with that thing? I'll take care of it. I'll well, call then, the, yeah. the door of the person. Hmm. All right, honey? Yeah, that light is still out. Oh, he's coming Tuesday. I thought he said Monday. No, Tuesday. And when do the cable feed come? Thursday. We're home. Hi. How's dinner coming? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Well, we left. She was supposed to fix dinner. She didn't. I'll try again. Did she make an attempt to start dinner? No. Did you? Mm-hmm. Well, was there any excuse why she didn't make dinner? She said she had better things to do. Boop in the rear time. All right, Glenn. What did you make, honey? Surprise! Who left my bathroom in a mess? Oh, I did. I was dying for the egg. Well, after dinner, you and some cleanser up here, huh? Chris, I want some answers. Well, Rita said she was going out and she would be back in time for dinner. Who was supposed to make dinner? You, I guess. She's got a surprise coming. No dinner for her? Don't look. You have nothing to worry about. Wait and see what I mean. Good Lord. I'll clean it up. You're not kidding. What could you make that would take all these pots? Pizza. Pizza? From scratch. Well, where'd you get the recipe? Kid at school. A kid at school? An Italian kid. You're heading for a fall, little lady. Your mother asked you to do something. I had something else to do. And that was more important. Yes. I think you can go without your dinner tonight. Big deal.
I'm going. Thanks for dropping in. Sorry about dinner. Are you reading? Well, it's no great tragedy, is it? No, but it's rude. And I think it's a rotten thing to do. Can I go to my room? In a minute. Well? I'd like an explanation. Where I went? For a start. Just out, walking. I know that it's hard to believe that I felt that walking was more important than making dinner, but I did. That's it? That's it. Okay. You stated your case. Now I'll state mine. This is not a crash pad. This is our home. You will live here as a member of our family, not a guest. If you don't, then what? Then you will have to find another place to live. You don't care too much for me, do you? How dare you say that to me, Rita? I love you, you know. No, I am not sure I do know that. You're the only one I do love. Nobody, just you. I love you, too. Sometimes you make it very hard. We all do. Don't give me that we stuff. I don't love my father any more than he loves me, and Christina could die for all I care. Really? Christina is a simpering little toad. She traps you with all her looks. Underneath, she's weak and stupid, unworthy and useless. Stop it. You gave me life. You cared for me when I was sick. You held me when I cried. You fed me when I was hungry. Those things are not forgotten. Nothing is forgotten. Nothing is forgotten. Each deed is written and filed, and when I must, I draw upon those deeds and act upon them. I reproach myself for nothing. Each deed is written and filed, and when stop. I must... Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! When I must, I draw upon those deeds and act upon them. I reproach myself for nothing. My actions are based upon deeds before four years against me. Each deed is written and filed, and when I must, I draw upon those deeds and act upon Approach myself for my father. Rita, I told you no dinner. I think you should go to your room. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Glenn. Wait a minute. Oh. What was all that about? What are we having for dinner? Hmm? Pizza. What? Pizza. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Pizza. That's what she made. Hey, Chris, I hear you made a pizza. That's terrific. Well, I don't think all the lights worked out. Mm. Mm. It's kind of funny. Mm, looks great. <laughs> nice try. Dinner's on me. I'll get Rita. No, no, Rita. It's not right. It doesn't seem right to you, Marion, because she'll be unhappy. Now, that's a lousy reason she asked for it. I can't leave without her. In the first place, missing one meal won't hurt her. In the second place, it's about time she found out who's running this household. She parades around here like she's a damn movie queen. All right, I'll warm up the car. Chris!
Hi, Glenn. Mary, upstairs. Hi, what are you doing now? Sit down. You fought a big battle. Oh, getting my brief together in the bar. Oh, that's what they mean by the California Bar Association. <laughs> oh. Man, she is gorgeous. You must be sick of hearing that. When does a woman hate a compliment? Yeah. Where's Rita? Oh, she's doing her homework. I really wish her well tomorrow, Sam. I think you mean it. I'm right, I do. That... You nail those landlords to the wall. To the wall. Oh, I better go home. I think I'm a little high. Mm. Well, you'll fit right into the Elliot's party on Friday. Oh, yes, the Elliot's. You know, just once, I'd like to go to a party and enjoy myself. I'm getting too old to fight all the time. Same old routine, shake up the wasps. <laughs> uh, you all get purged, I just get tired. Oh, come on, you love it. No, I mean it. I just like to sit there and listen to their pap and get quietly loaded. Well, you're on your way tired. <laughs> well, I'm off. Ciao, all. Good luck tomorrow. Right Thank you. What's the matter? Are you all right? I saw the car, Marion. Maybe it just looked like his it car. It was Stan. What are you going to do? I don't know. You know you could ruin him? He could have killed me. It doesn't make any sense. I know he was high. Call him. Yeah, you can tell that. Get in the car. Portions of Creature Features are brought to you by the Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. Explore the mystery at winchestermysteryhouse.com. You know, this book is much like this film. Really? Well, it. she's a slasher girl, right? Well, yes. Because it's called Slasher Girl. Mm -hmm. And this one in the movie is like, she slashes with her mind. Ooh. Right? Nice. A mind slasher. You should write a book called Mind, mind Slasher. <laughs> Done. And, no, no, no. People are going to think that she uses a knife to remove the brains of people. But in reality, she uses her mind to slash. I like that. Done, I don't. It's done. a dumb idea. Don't do no, it. No, I'm doing no, you it. you stick with... And I'm dedicating it to you. This is... You know, I, I've never had a book dedicated to me, so that would be wonderful. <laughs> this is a wonderful book. Thank you. And, you know, I, I don't know the content. I have not read this book. You know, have you ever seen those presenters? Who, uh, oh, yes. In chapter three of page five, you said... Yeah, yeah I never read a... I, it takes me a year to read a book. Oh. However... <laughs> One thing I can say about this book that I like about the content of this book is she uses a bloody spooky font for the chapters. No, nobody ever does that. Stephen King never does this. Why not? Why not No, use it? why exactly is what he should be thinking about because, you know, it's a spooky book. It should have a spooky font. It does add to it. Now, you it? could have done it for the rest. I mean, what is this, Times Roman, the rest of the book? Well, whatever my publisher used, yes. All right, all right. <laughs> well, it, you know, you should compliment him for using that. So you wrote this book all by yourself. Uh, yes, all right? by myself. <laughs> and this is a novel, uh -huh. right, about a slasher girl? Uh, yeah, well, from what I can describe best about it, it's like American Psycho meets Promising Young Woman, if you've seen those two oh, movies. Oh, yes. 
Yes. That's nice. It's a great revenge and Maybe tale. we should mention here that Miss Misery's real name, <laughs> Young. How Raina, do you pronounce that? Young. Raina Young. But not like That's my Carl author Jung. name. No. Because <laughs> yeah, that would be with a J, right? Yeah. Livingston, I, Livingston will correct me on that. You know, I've heard him call people with the name Young, Jung. Oh, really? I don't know why. It's, it's that whole German thing. No, no, no. I, I, I think, you know, I think he went to a military school. I don't know. He, he wants really? to that. So you wrote, how long does it take you to write a book this long? Uh, well, when I write a book, I process it through my head first. I have One to have the assume. beginning, the middle, the end right. first in my head before I start writing. And it. everything else is just filler. Exactly. Right, so right. with that book, I had it in my head for a whole year. A Be year. To make sure I wanted it exactly right. the way I wanted it nice. before I started writing it. That's, that's, that's usually great. what I do. So when you finally took pen to paper keyboard to computer or quill to parchment <laughs> how long did that pro process take uh, it depends um before i uh, let's see years ago i would do a lot of typing first right. i would do computer first but right. for some reason pen and paper for me is it, it's not that it's faster it just feels better for some reason it's so much more portable it's isn't? i don't know right. what it is i guess it's, i'm just so old school I guess that's, that's no, why. It's nice. You know, yeah. you know, sometimes I get handwritten notes, and most of them I cannot read. But oh. every now and then I get someone who's a true penman ah. who just beautiful, like I could read it perfectly. Nice, so isn't like it? Script. All right, so we can find out more about this book at that website we yes, gave before. Yes, go to my website. We brought and that up before. There's the links there to purchase it, and I'm telling you, you'll enjoy it. Even pictures in the back. What are, these are all your other books. Uh, well, no, these are books from other publishers from... Yeah, so I right. go through Black Bedsheet Books. He's uh, Nicholas Krabowski from Black Bedsheet Books is my publisher. Black so in the bed back... Black Bedsheet Books. Black Bedsheet Books, yes. I, I don't know what to say about that. Black <laughs> Bedsheet. What, what Nobody does. All right. All Nobody right. does. Black, I don't think I've ever slept in a Black Bedsheet. Really? I have. Life. I don't know. All right. Well, you say we get back to this film. Yes. And we'll come back. Uh, we're going to talk about some of your other books, right? Great. Sounds All right. Good. Off we go back to The Spell... Don't go away. This movie is good, but I think it will get better as well. See you soon. Somebody's been driving my car. Were you driving the car? I hate driving. Where were you with the car? I told you I didn't take the car. Look, somebody's been driving that car. The hood is warm. That is. Hate to disappoint y'all. So? So if you'll check the garage, you'll find my electric blanket on the ledge. Why? I was trying to hatch these eggs. I needed a flat surface, so I used the hood of the car. Where's the mother? Dead. Well, why not here? Why the hood of my car? I never tried hatching anything before. I didn't know what to expect. Thought there might be a mess. And if you messed up the hood of my car? I'd have cleaned it up. I don't understand you. I know. No luck? No. <laughs> Nothing happened. Well, you... Keep it warm. Just might hatch. It's funny how things die for no reason. <sighs> Gonna lock up downstairs and through there? Yeah. Good night, darling. Hmm. I feel warm. <laughs> huh? Okay, really. Well, let's just see about it. Thank you. 
Don't both of you talk at once. What is it? Helen is on the extension. She's nearly hysterical. He blacked out. Doesn't remember a thing. I knew it. Stan, now, uh, just listen to me. I didn't tell anybody, so if nobody saw you, you're okay. Well, you know, that's your department. No, I don't know what you should do. I think we should talk, though. Good. Yeah. Whenever. Okay. He says his enemies would love to get a hold of this. It could ruin him. Of course. How does it feel to hold a man's future in your hands? It's scary. do with a lot less, you know. I mean, keeping up with the neighbors is a thing of the past. You don't have to prove anything to anyone. We have each other and we have the girls. Our family is the only important thing. I never see you anymore. Good morning. How do you feel? Oh, pretty good. Good morning. You hungry? No. What do you want? Some fruit? It's all yours. <laughs> Can I have some coffee? I guess so. Me too? You stick to milk. What are you doing today? Well, this afternoon I'm going to a charity tea, and then your dad's working late, so this evening I'm going over to the Bellamy's. Kathleen called. No! She might have something you can catch. She doesn't. Please. Well, I, I have to, Rita. Kathleen is my friend. I agree with her. You shouldn't go. Eat. Hi. Come on in. Sure. Sit down. 
How about a drink? No, thank you. How is she? Uh, she's been feeling fine all day. She's really looking forward to seeing you. Oh, good. Well, where is she? Oh, she's upstairs. She'll be down in a few minutes. I, uh... You, uh, what? Called in a parapsychologist. I heard. Oh, damn it, Mary, and I didn't know what else to do. I had to call somebody. <laughs> well, I'll laugh if you laugh. I can't laugh. I've watched Kathleen come apart for no reason. We've tried everything. Marion, don't give me that look. I'm sorry, Ryan. It's just that the occult, you know. I'll go get Kathleen. What did he say about it? Did somebody hexed her? Good job. Keep it up. Mr. Livingston, how you doing? Listen, obviously I'm a guy. My name's Giovanni. A little bit of a singer. But anyway, I'd like to uh, sing to, uh, what's her name, Tarantula. Let me know what you want to hear. Later, bro. Hello, this is Livingston. Apparently, one of my newly acquired domestic duties is to request help for our show financially by asking you to visit our patron page. Your generosity will help keep Creature Features on the air, which I'm not entirely sure is a good thing. However, with only a few dollars a month from you, your kindness will allow us to continue creating new programming each week, which apparently some of you curiously enjoy. And should you have the desire to give even more, you might even receive a gift from Ms. Tangella. I think not. Please visit the website below to learn more. Thank you. Portions of Creature Features are brought to you by The Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. Explore the mystery at winchestermysteryhouse.com. Miss Misery, Raina. Your hair looks fine. What are you doing? Yours looks better. I know. Wait, wait, who, who's your coiffeur? Me. You coiff your own hair? I do my own hair. Will you do mine? Of course. Could you make mine as shiny and manageable as yours? Mm, may take some work, but sure. What shampoo do you use? Pantene. I knew it. Yeah, somebody told me to use Prel Concentrate. No, I, I, I said no, I think I should be using Pantene. Yes. Because it makes it silky. Yeah, I, I'm going to switch. All right, we're going to try that first. Sure. Welcome back to the show. Yeah. Sorry for all the hair talk. 
But uh, when you when you got when you got fur like this, you need to look into these things. Anyways, uh, we are watching the spell from 1977 with the wonderful Miss Misery horror host Rainy Young, and uh, we we're talking about your book in the last one. But first, this film, Flaming Woman Dies, Combust. You know, I I, I, I thought that's all I see. She might have been a drummer for Spinal Tap, oh. and that's why she combusted. I love that movie. Yeah, now and that's, that's I movie. think, you know, she was she was maybe auditioning for a role Ooh. in that band, and uh, that's that's what happened, because that's, you know, that's the only time I've ever heard of people spontaneously combusting. I guess she didn't get the part. No. Well, she would be a hot drummer if she did. <laughs> she would. All right, uh, movie we'll get back to in a moment, but uh, let's talk about some of your other books. You said you wrote 15 books. Yes, I've written a lot of books, actually. Um, so you're more of an <laughs> author than a horror host. Well, I do it all. You do. How do you do it all? I don't know. You know, that's the number one question everyone always asks me. How do you do it all? Right. And, well, I do suffer from insomnia. I usually don't that's sleep. That's it. You don't sleep. No. So, yeah. yes. Tangela does not sleep either. Oh. No, she's, I've, I, I've seen her sleep once, and I, <laughs> she, she had a run of, like, eight days of no sleep, oh. and then she just, like, passed out on the floor of the parlor here. Sounds like me. But five minutes later, she was up like she'd slept for a week. Yeah, give me about 20 minutes, I'll be fine. That's amazing. So sure. you do most of your writing at night? Yes. When it's quiet? Very quiet. Nighttime? Right. That's, yes. No, that's good. Have to do it at night. It's it's the witching hour. You should write a book about witches. Have you written a book about witches? I have not. No. All right, so well, tell us about two of your other books. Well, uh, I just published another one. It's a ghost story. A ghost story? I love ghost yes, stories. Yes, called Welcome Home, Natalie. Welcome that's home, published Natalie. through Demain Publishing. Right, right. Yes, so that's a ghost story. And what's the gist of that one? Well, it's about a woman who goes back home because her mom dies, and then she right. starts to deal with the past life of when she lived there, and her mom was disturbed herself, and oh her father goodness. went and left when she was little, and she's going to find out everything that's happened. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. That sounds spooky. Oh, yes. Right. You know, we have a future filmmaker here. I think, you know, with one of these books. All right, another yes. one? Oh, I write a children's book series called Monsters. Children's books? Yes, they're kind of like in the vein of Goosebumps. Nice. Yes. Oh, that's where the big money is. You could, you could be the next J.K. Rowling. Uh, who knows? Yeah, she's rich, you know. <laughs> she is. Oh, she's bloody rich. That's true. No, I, I, I couldn't believe it. Yes. She's got more money than the queen. What? She's got more money than the queen. Really? Yes. That's a can you believe that? Oh, you know, the queen is not as rich as she looks. She just gets to borrow all that stuff. She doesn't own she any of it. From she borrows JK. it from right. JK. No, no, she <laughs> borrows the crown and those things. Oh, oh yes, uh, yes. That all, becomes, that all belongs to the United Kingdom. You would know. I would, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, no. so let's get back to the movie, see what happens next. Yes. And uh, when we come back, I want to talk to you about conventions. Oh, yeah. You've done them. I've done them. Love them. Our viewers have gone to them, and I think yes. we should talk about these things. I think right? so, too. All right. Off we go. Back to the spell. See Great. you on the other side of the break. She burned. She just burned. I mean, there wasn't any fire. She just exploded. You should have seen her face. I mean, her blood was just, it was boiling, and she just burned up. Oh. Is Ryan all right? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, he's, is um, he? well, he's fine. Uh, his brother's there with him. The doctor thought somebody should be around. And, yeah? Well, the shock and everything kind of wiped him out, but his heart is okay. It's yeah. nothing to worry about. Oh, God. And the kids are studying. And I saw Stan. He cried all over me, and we bowed an undying friendship and free legal fees for two years. He still doesn't remember anything. It's a big blank. <sighs> Do you want anything? How about some soup? No, no, honey. Nothing. I... You sure? How do you feel? Okay. Oh, pretty shaky. Brought you some soup. Mm. Thank you, honey. Make you feel better.
I warned you, didn't I? Yes. And then you left. Where did you go to? Just out. Did you go over there? Should I go over there? Why don't you tell me? How is it? Good. It's packaged. Read them. I didn't go over there. I'm not hungry. She's as bright as a penny on the honor roll as you know. The girls tease her. They make fun of her. The rest of the time, they don't even talk to her. Uh, the seagull girl used to tease her a lot. I, I know. Rita is not an unattractive girl. Oh, no, she's pretty and gifted. What about Jackie Siegel? What kind of girl was she? She's very pretty and popular, a little preoccupied with boys. What happened, Miss Standish? Jackie fell. She just fell. And the fall broke her neck. I wish I could be more help to you. Mrs. Matchett, I know that Rita's your daughter, and I know you'd like her to be more like other girls. But some girls will be different. Most of the people who've left a meaningful legacy in this world have been. <laughs> no, that's not much for you. Not this week. Thank you very much. Honey, these are your friends. They better be. Let's have a drink. Marion, so nice to see you. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you came. I was afraid you would. No, no, I'm feeling a little crazy. Tie down the lampshade. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> What can I get you to drink? Uh, scotch for both of us. Here's me, mine with water. There you go. <laughs> You'll both feel better when you've had a drink. Did you get our check? Yes, yes, thanks. You know, we've hauled in over 15,000. Hmm. Pays to be an endangered species. <laughs> Excuse me a second, honey. My tongue is trapped. You know that feeling? You. I can't talk about Kathleen. It was off. That's all. <laughs> oh, mine's the neat one. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, Glenn. Oh, how do you feel? I helped. <coughs> nice party. Uh, it's a bit brassy, but Phoenicia likes it. Could do with a few more Democrats. Oh, is Stan here? Right over there. Yeah, Hatley's trying to shoot holes in his plan for a national health program. <laughs> One of them's going to need a doctor before it's over. Well, I think you know everybody else here. Jill. Marion. Marion, I want you to meet someone. I see you in a minute. Yes. Marion Matchett, this is Dale Boyce. How do you do? Hello. Oh, Jill. Excuse me. I was sorry to hear about your friend, and about Mrs. Bellamy. You knew her? Her husband called me in. You're the parapsychologist. She was murdered, you know. I'm sorry, I tend to be blunt. It's putting it mildly. Somebody hated Kathleen Bellamy enough to kill her, and you were the instrument, <gasps> Mrs. Matchett. You were the weapon. 
You know that your name terrified her? I am her. not listening to that you. That your I... physical presence killed her? That is not true. I tried very hard to reach you. And I wouldn't have listened. Would you please excuse me? You should leave the area altogether. No, you won't. Of course not. Mrs. Magid, I am on a lecture tour. I'm going to be in San Francisco. If you should ever need me, I will. She seems upset. She seems upset to you. Huh? No, no, I think she's going to be all right. It's just that, well, she and Rita were having it out with both girls when we were having a shower. Well, what did they fight about? Oh, hell. Didn't you hear anything? I don't know. Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. Please, just get her out. What were you two fighting about? Nothing. I want to know. She's been spying on me. I warned her to stop. What kind of warning? I am talking to you. The only kind of warning she understands. What kind of warning does a 15-year-old kid give a 13-year-old kid? To grow up. That is not a warning. That is a request. I told Chris that if she didn't grow up, she wouldn't be around to grow up. And that's a threat. People who mess around in other people's business, people who laugh at other people because they're different, deserve to be punished. Jackie Siegel was one of those. Jackie Siegel fell. That was an accident. I know. I was there.
Rita. You're playing a dangerous game with your mind. You could delude yourself right into a sanitarium. You're scaring a lot of people. You're not fooling me. It's cheap and easy to scare people who are younger than you. The only power you have is the power of your own will. That's all any of us has. That's right. You want anything before I leave? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I think I'd like one of those garbage sandwiches. You know, everything in the fridge. Heavy on the mayo. Oh, that's on me. Just heat up. Want a beer? Yeah, but you don't have to bring it up. I'll come down. Damn right. Oh, what was that? Oh, right. oh I love it when you swear at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate that. Not now. Oh, no. Not now. Oh, it's windy. Yeah. Huh. You want me to go with you to ride? <sighs> No, if he's, uh, if he's not feeling well, it'll probably be too much. <sighs> Tell him that I'll come by toward the end of the week. <laughs> dead, Mrs. Matchett. This afternoon he took a sudden turn. His heart just couldn't take it, I guess, with Kathleen dying and all. I know how you felt about, about both of them. Uh, we'll let you know about the funeral arrangements. Several times you started to tell me things, and each time you stopped. I want you to tell me now. I can't. You must. I'm afraid. You have to. What are you doing? Shh. Rita, and that Standish lady. They sing together, they sit, and they sing weird things. What kind of things? I couldn't get close enough. Where do they do this? Miss Standish's. Do they do it alone? Yeah. What does the singing sound like? I don't know. Think. It's kind of a chant. Like Were you alone when you saw them? No, Mrs. Bellamy was with me. We went that day to collect for the paper drive. At school, the day you couldn't take me. When she didn't answer the ring, we went around to the side and looked in, through the window. That night, Rita told me that if I ever told anybody, that she'd fix me. Chris? really happened to Jackie Siegel? She fell, just like Rita said she would. Just like Rita told her to? She still fell. The kids at school were scared to death of her. They all used to tease her. When they saw what happened to Jackie Siegel, exactly like Rita said it would. What upset your sister? Jackie and the kids were calling her names and teasing her and laughing at her. And Rita started to get all red and cry. What did you do? when your sister was crying. Nothing, why? I'm ashamed that you should ask. How can you protect her when you know that she's done all those things? In the first place, 
I don't think she has. And in the second place, she is my daughter. She's sick and crazy. She is not. She is different. She tried to kill me. Now, that was an accident. It wasn't an accident. She tried to make it look like it was an accident. And she's fooling everybody. How can you protect her? One day, you will see. This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Stay tuned. Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. Welcome back to that show we call Creature Features, but it's kind of like the Miss Misery Creature Feature comedy special tonight, right? Ooh, right? yeah. No, it's like an episode of Scooby-Doo <gasps> when the Harlem <laughs> Globetrotters love... would come on in Scooby-Doo and it would be like they'd act as a team. Yes. We're a team tonight. That's right. And you were a team on a film I've recently seen, Up Late with Bob Wilkins. That's you, right. And she was all over this film. I was. You're one of the... The, the, the few lovely women in that, because yeah, I think you were the only woman in that film, right? So, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now that you've mentioned right? it, yeah, yes, no, I, I believe think you're so. the only th that's female right. talking head in that whole film. That's right. Anyway, film, wonderful film done by our director, Tom, uh, Bob Wilkins, the creator of this show, and uh, yes. lots of nice footage, and lots of interviews with people like you and Zetro. And then who That's else? That's right. Uh, yeah, a couple other see. people too. Uh, Eric E was in it. Eric E. Eric you know, Eric E. He was here on our show with uh, the B9 robot. I just saw Eric E. The other day. How is the old bloke? He's great. We miss you, Eric. You got to come back with the robot. <gasps> Anyways, uh, so you did that film, and then yes. that film, by the way, is available at uh, Garfield Lane Productions. Garfield Lane Productions dot com. Worth a watch. It's he's got footage on that that I've never seen before, and I thought I I'd seen all the footage. Yeah. I didn't right. see some of it. Was new for me too. Well, you used to watch cool. the show, right? No, you're too young. Oh, I, I, <laughs> no, no? I, I'm too young. <laughs> you, I'm a well, your too name's young. Raina Young, but, so you, maybe that's you're true. too young. That's true. But no, you were old enough to watch Bob Wilkins. But because I went to WonderCon convention, we were going to talk about conventions right, right. one time, and I met Bob and John, and I bought some stuff. And oh, all right. There you go. But you never saw it in its like pristine no. day when no. it was broadcast over the air. No. Yeah, all right. Sadly Neither not. did I. Don't feel bad. Oh, okay, Neither great. I. I was, I was eating fish and chips in some countryside in the UK, so it's oh, all right. I missed it as well. <laughs> conventions. You do lots of these conventions. Oh, yes. I go to as many as I can through the year. And well, no, whichever ones I can make No, it but not just go. You like all a featured Featured guest. guest. Yes. yes. Right, right. Yeah. What was your favorite convention? Oh, that's hard to say because... You have to tell me right to now. Be on okay, I'm going to be honest with you. My favorite convention I've ever done is Creatures Con. Right? Yes. <laughs> well, you know, you know why it's your favorite? It's one of my favorites as well. Not and the kidding. reason why is because it's not the crazy convention. It's like just a select group of people who are into that thing. Yes. The, 
the fans yeah. there are always phenomenal. Right. Creatures Con's always been like it's like going home. Right. You know? No, like, but it's it's small. It's it's like a boutique convention, right? In the sense that it's only for this particular crowd realm. You don't realm. you don't see a lot of anime kids there, right? Yeah. No, right. no, no, no. Right. So that's why it's fun. Oh, you know what Creatures Con should do? They should do a Bob Wilkins costume contest. Oh, that'd be interesting. That would you be know, interesting. I don't have a suit, though. Wow. No, they wouldn't let me do that. Why no, not? That'd would be fun. Oh, God, no. No, no. They would, <laughs> they would, they would kick me out by my trousers. I know? would never kick you out. All right. Any, any uh, big conventions coming up soon? Uh, yes. Just go to lastoryproductions.com and you can check oh, it out there. Oh, my goodness. Actually, She's sending you out to a website. I have to because... You I forget. do so much, it's hard for me to, to oh, remember oh, sometimes see, of everything I'm doing. She's a busy Crazy. lady. I am. And she, she made time to come me. watch a movie with us tonight, so that's that's nice. It's wonderful. Yes. All right, what do you say we wrap this thing up? Oh, yeah. And then you're going to tell us about your next project, right? <sighs> Maybe. She will. All right, stick around. Uh, do not change the channel after the credits roll, because it does not mean the program is over. It means the movie's over, but we still have a lot more to say, and Tangelo's going to be back. So stick around. See you soon. Marion Manchin. Mrs. Manchin. Mr. Boyce. Dave. I must tell you, I don't really want to be here. I know that. You picked that up. And I wouldn't have to be as sensitive to feel that. Won't you please sit down? Are you? That sensitive? Yes. Well, we all are. Theoretically, everybody has the ability to send and to receive. Not everyone's developed it. What's the trick? Pretty much knowing that it's there. It's, uh, it's like IQ. Some people have a high IQ, some people are low, but everybody has an IQ. What do you want to know? What the hell's going on? There's a power loose. Are you aware that this area is the most powerful in North America? How do you mean? Psychically. Psychic energy. Someone has learned to tap that and to transmit it and has taught others to transmit. Well, you can't organize that sort of thing. Oh, yes, you can. Hitler was able to mobilize an entire nation with words and only with words. The human brain is a very powerful weapon. One word can become a bullet. But you don't believe me, so I won't go on. Do go on. Why? I don't know. Control, power, always a strong motivation. Do you know what a mantra is? A chant. Yeah. And it works. It's used in transcendental meditation, Nishirin, Shosho Buddhism, pretty much the same thing. And the reason that it works is that the individual passionately wants it to work. Now, if that were work for good, it could as easily work for what we might call evil. One genuine sensitive with a hierarchy of sensitives under him. I leave it to your imagination. <laughs> You're uh, welcome to stay if you like. Oh, no, thank you. I think that you should stay. Well, I can't. I, I have to get Mrs. home. Mrs. Major, please. We must talk. You and I must really talk. Will you wait for me? Yes. All right. It's good. Christina helped. Yes, I did. It's gorgeous. Fattening, though. Was that for my benefit? You know it wasn't. Don't look for a fight. It is fattening, but sometimes it's good for the soul to eat something that's really rotten for you now and then. Uh, I'm not very hungry. Can I be excused? Mm. Yeah. Sure.
I got some news. Good news, I hope. Well, for Rita, yes. That school that you wanted to go to in England, I did some checking today. I made a call. And you can go late. Your grades are good. You're on the honor roll. And they said under the circumstances. But I don't want to go now. I like it here. But six months ago. I've changed my mind. Honey, we thought that it might be a good I idea. said I've changed my mind. Rita, I think it's best. I don't. I can see that. But since you don't run this household... Glenn. Her passport's good. It's only been two years since we were there. So we don't have to worry about that. I've got her on Pan Am Thursday night. I thought we'd all go into the city early and have dinner. Why don't you get on that plane yourself? Rita. <coughs> Nobody's getting rid of me. I'm staying, staying until you're all dead and buried, till you're rotten in your graves. You'll never get rid of me, never! I'll put her on that plane if I had to kick her on. Who the hell does she think she is? I'll drop 30 milligrams of Librium in her milk and pour her on. She's going, I'll tell you that. She's going up and over that ocean and out of our lives. All right. I know that you don't think I love her. I do. Or at least I did. Something went that sour somewhere. I don't know where. You two were in trouble from the beginning. Every father wants a little princess, and she just never was one. She came out kicking and screaming like she hated being born. And she's been paying us back ever since. Maybe she knew it was in store for her, I don't know. She's mine. She's mine. I, I can't give her up. Not yet. What are you fighting for? A nervous breakdown? I'm fighting for us. We're a family and she's a part of it. Well, she can be a part of it in England. On Thursday, we give her a second chance and we give ourselves a break. I'm not going to see you come apart at the scenes just because you won't admit defeat. She's hurting inside. Can't you see that? Can't you see she's all twisted up? I can't leave it like this, a bunch of broken glasses and a lot of hatred. I... I need time with her. Alone. You've got a high tolerance for pain. Get Chris and we'll go to a movie. No, uh... Uh... I need more time. I... You and Christina sleep over at Stan Reston's. I... I want the whole night with her. Please. Please. Glenn. This brief moment of tranquility has been brought to you by Nightscape. Relax and sleep better every single night with this and other videos from our free YouTube channel. Learn more by visiting nightscape.co today.
really. Not alone. Rita, you have the power. And now you know how to use it. Can I just make him sick? Well, he'll get well. And then you'll have to deal with it all over again. And my mother? She'll get over it. Look, I don't want people to die. I like Ryan Bellamy. I had nothing to do with that. His heart just gave out. But if you hadn't done that to Mrs. Bellamy? I had to. She would have told everybody. Rita, I don't like this turnaround. You didn't feel like this when you first came to me about Jackie Siegel, did you? But you said you could stop her. I didn't know you were going to do that. Oh, yes, you did. You knew exactly. Why do you think I put her up against you? Look, you said you were going to humiliate her. And I did. That silly little girl. I would have killed her for you. She was your enemy. Kathleen Bellamy is our enemy. Oh, Rita, we're building something. You have a great power. It's as great as my own. Now, I let you get away with scaring your sister, but I can't let your father put you on that plane. Look, I'll make you sick. Real sick. I can't take that risk. Soon we'll have a whole community of special people. A community of... Well, do you think it starts with us? But I'll be right back where I was. What do you mean? Well, everybody will be the same. I won't be different or special. You are special. It's mine. I don't want to share it. Real power is in the sharing. No. Rita, trust me. No, for the first time in my life, I have enjoyed being different. If it's given to others, I won't be different. My dear, you will be with people who will appreciate... I don't want to be with people! There's no point in pursuing this. You're not giving it to anyone else. And you're not giving any orders. Cheese. I don't know why I get hungry so late at night. It's the wrong time to eat, but I can't help it. You want me to make you one? Something wrong? Sit down. I will. Just let me get this on the griddle. No. I will in a minute. Now. I said, in a minute. No, we no seem to be able to spread a few times. Do you understand me? It is over. It is finished. It is the end. But... sister, or to anyone else. What? What will you do? I will destroy you. Don't try it. Rita, don't make me. 
You can't, I'm the only one. Where do you think you got it? No, no, I was born with it. That's right. You'd better think of what you're going to take with you. I'm not going to something warm. It's quite cold there until July. I'm not going. I'll help you. I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going. Nami, Judy, Rita. And so ends the spell. Yeah, that was a surprising ending. Did you like that? I was not expecting that at all. Me either. No, I, you know, she's got I that. loved it. It runs in the family. Right. Figures. Who in God's name is this? <gasps> this is Logan. Logan? Um, but I changed he, my name. He changed your, you changed your name? Yeah. Oh, what's my your goodness. new name? What's your new name? Eleven. Eleven? Eleven. But you don't look like a day over eight. <laughs> <laughs> so in, you, you were doing all these things, making movies, yes. doing the show, and then you produced this. I you're did. a producer. Uh, yeah. 
Exactly. Right. No, he's he's adorable. Are you going to be a, a horror host like your mum? Um, no, I'm the actor. Oh, no? he's an actor. You're an actor. <gasps> oh, well, we can what? certainly use some of those around here. Yeah. <laughs> what kind That's of great. acting do you like to do? Acting. Acting like kindergarten acting at school? Say horror films. Horror films. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he's good. What about Halloween? What are you going to be for Halloween? Frankenstein. <gasps> Frankenstein. I like Frankenstein. Are you going to wear big boots? Yeah, you should wear big boots like this. You could borrow these if you'd like. They'll make you like this much taller. This <laughs> much way. taller? This much, no, this much taller. It'll be nice. It'll be fun. He's, he's going to make a fine Frankenstein. He is. Right? No, oh, he's yeah. probably going to be tall when he grows up as well. Oh, yes. So you can do the real thing. Yes, of course. <laughs> All right, well, uh, that's it for the movie tonight. Um, Miss Misery, what are you doing next? Everything. Everything. Taking over the world. Taking over the world. You're writing books, you're doing conventions, you're doing your show. Yep. And, uh, and I'm in pre-production of Taking care of this young film. man. Taking care of him. Right, now yeah, you've got your plate full. I mean, I just oh, got to yes. contend with her. Are, are you, do you behave with your mother? Because uh, this one does not behave. She's trouble... <laughs> You don't dig up graves, do you? Do you dig up graves? I hope not. Do you? No, it's it's dirty um, work, and she does all. Um, the my mom helps me dig up graves. Oh, well, that explains a lot, Miss Misery. Well, don't tell everyone. No, that's that's a secret. <laughs> that's a secret. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for coming, and uh, we hope to see you again soon. Yes. And as far as you guys go, thank you for staying up late and watching our show with us. We know you could have been doing something better, like sleeping, right? No, that's what I'd be doing if I wasn't doing this. However, you stayed up late with us, and we uh, love that, and we love you. And we'll see you next week with a different guest, different movie. Don't know who, but it'll be fun. See you next time. So, uh, Miss Misery, you know, I'm kind of thinking, since you do a horror host show, and I do a horror host show, perhaps one night we could swap. Not a bad idea. You can help Mr. Torture try out his new guillotine. <laughs> <laughs>